So here's the deal. Some of you guys are really clever and I really like building stuff. So is there a project that we can build together that's really fun to build that doesn't take a lot of time and that's useful to everyone in the community without being a complete disaster? is there and dude that's literally what i did i built profanity api detecting toxic content has always been slow and expensive not anymore introducing a fast free and open source profanity filter for your web apps and then some benefits for it like it's much cheaper and faster to run than ai because this doesn't actually use ai it's pretty accurate and at launch this said highly accurate but since i found out that there are two cases where it kind of has problems not big problems and but sometimes it doesn't work a hundred percent and it's 100 percent and free and open source and we've served over uh, 2k api requests 2000 people have tried this out or made requests that is really cool now how does it work how do you detect profanity just really quick okay how people usually do this is either they keep a list of words right they have a list of words like these three in their database in a json file whatever and then when a user input comes in they basically see is this word in there does it match this one does it match this one and in this very specific case none of the ones in our json database would match right this would be flagged as non-profane even though it very obviously is so it's very fast if you keep a list of words but it, it doesn't really work well the other approach that a lot of people use is ai and ai is really good at telling profane from not profane like if you had this text right here you could easily detect that this is very profane using ai but the problem is that this is really slow and to prove my point okay i went full effort here i actually trained my own tensor model my own machine learning model to prove this so in this script right here we measure the time it takes from start to end of this certain API call to tensor.profanity.dev. And this is the place where I host the machine learning model that I specifically trained to tell whatever the message is that we send to this API, is this profane or not? Let me show you. So right now we're testing hello world. Is that profane or not? Well, let's see. Let's make the request and we're going to be able to see that no, this is not toxic. This is near zero. So very clean input, right? Zero is not profane at all, but it took 1,400 milliseconds. And this is just a demonstration usually this is a lot faster it's like six to seven hundred milliseconds but it takes really long and if we now inserted a swear word in here and try the same thing again the request is probably gonna be a bit faster yeah around 700 that's normal and it can very clearly tell like almost one this is very profane because of the word right here that we put in there that youtube is probably gonna demonetize me for but it took 700 milliseconds that's just really long and there's a better approach that kind of combines the both it's fast and it's also effective because it's neither a list of words nor is it AI. And that's exactly what I made Profanity API for. Let's try this out together. This is definitely not a swear word. This is on the landing page. Let's Profanity check that. And in about 200 milliseconds, that's usually what it takes. So it's like three times faster than AI. We can see that there are no profanities in here. But if we inserted a swear word in here, let's check that let's profanity check yes profanity detected and then we also get a score 0 0.88 to indicate how profane is this just for reference a clean input with no profanities is always around like 0 0.8 0 0.81 so this is clean input nothing wrong or if we actually tried uh, swear words then we would be at like 0 0.88 0 0.89 so much higher right or even above 0 0.9 so i developed this in like one week and it's pretty accurate right that's why we say that on the home page it's not super accurate accurate because this has a couple of problems first one is very short words so one demo that i announced this on twitter and that people pointed out to me on twitter is that mom was actually flagged as profane and that's because of the data set that we used for this model and one thing i noticed is that this model has problems with flagging single words it just doesn't work super reliably and that's why i now put that you need to input at least two words second thing it doesn't really do well is very long texts for example let's grab some lorem ipsum and then insert a swear word somewhere in between right let's grab this really long text and let's put that in profanity api let's profanity check it hopefully there should be no profanities in here they're not great and if we now inserted a swear word in here and profanity check again let's see what happens okay now it actually worked but if this was like a normal text and not lorem ipsum sometimes it wouldn't really recognize the swear word and that's because of the underlying technology how does this actually work well this is completely open source you can check how this works yourself if you want there's the machine learning model i trained there's the vector API. By the way, if you like this, just give it a star. That would be 
That would be really cool. I appreciate it. And there's the um, website as well. All of it is open source. And the vector API is that's that's the one that's actually used on the website, right? And if we take a look at the source code, the index.ts, this is the actual API, then we can see how this works. Like for example, with a profanity threshold, when is something profane and the actual API logic that happens here. And how this works is by semantic similarity by querying from upstash vector, a vector database that is really fast. And that's how we get the latency. So it's it's it really is kind of the in-between between these two approaches, right? Essentially, we do have a list of words that are profanities that we then check for, but not based on lexical similarity. So exact similarity in the text, but semantic similarity. So if it's similar meaning like uh, this word right here, for example, and I probably can't say them because YouTube will demonetize the hell out of me, and, but they're very similar, right? But they're not an exact match, but a vector database would actually be able to catch that. It would be able to flag both as profane. And then we split the text into three word chunks and that's basically all we're doing. And that's the thing, because this is a community project. If you want to contribute, if you're good at algorithms, if you know how to make this better, right? To improve the flagging algorithm, please contribute. And then on the landing page, uh, lower down or up here, I'm gonna make like a section contributors and people that made this possible and if you want to be listed there um you can by making like a high quality contribution to actually uh, improve this for everyone you can by the way super easily implement this into your own app by just making a post request to this url vector.profanity.dev and if we now try that again let's make the oh and we should probably save the file so we don't make a request to our uh, actual ai model right and we can see okay 296 milliseconds let's try that again that's probably going to be faster 160 milliseconds it's much faster than AI. As you can very obviously see, it did very well flag this as profane because it is. And everything about this, literally everything is open source. The model, the data sets, right? The data set I used for the actual AI to kind of uh, compare this is like 800 megabytes. It's gigantic uh, because it involves a lot of embeddings and um, it's open source though. You can have it in the S3 bucket that I made for this where also the model is hosted. So if you want to have a look at the open source code, it's right here in the GitHub repository and uh, just try it out. Give it a shot. If something doesn't work, uh, please fix it. Please contribute or um, file an issue if you just don't have the time to fix it. And we can make this into a really cool community project. This was a ton of fun to build and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And that's it. It's open source. It's free. It will forever remain that way. I don't make any money off of this. I don't want to. This is just uh, really fun to build. I just like building stuff. And if it's together with you, even better. All right, that's it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'm going to see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one and bye bye.